So I'm alongside the Nolla Tricky River today here in Irwin, Tennessee in a park called Chestola. And I'm walking through the woods on a high embankment above the Nolla Truckee because the path that I normally walk alongside this river is right about there where the chop of that leaf is. This river has overflown its banks by about 10 to 15 feet, incredibly high because of the amount of rain we've had here in East Tennessee and the rain they've had in North Carolina. One of the things that happens too is we can get a little bit of rain here, but on top of these mountains, they'll get a ton of rain. I'm trying to navigate this is really hard. But long story short, what I'm saying is the tops of these mountains can get a ton of rain compared to what we get down here. So we can get a sprinkle for two days and hardly rain down here, but they can get five to six inches up on top of the mountain. Same goes for snow, which is why in the springtime, if there's no snow down here in the valley, there's snow on top of the mountains, this river will also overflow. Because at the end of the day, water does what water does, and it follows gravity. Because there's mountains way taller than this one along this river, and when it rains heavily up there, it's going to flow down that mountain straight into this river. Now this river has gone down quite a bit since yesterday. I'll toss up one of the pictures or videos from yesterday, probably right up in here. Because yesterday when I was here, part of my video, I showed this log floating, and I moved it while it was in the water. You can see right where the water was at along the banks of the river and how choppy it is right here. You can kind of see the trail right along here where the edge of the water was yesterday and I think the day before as well. But I do have one thing I am trying to find and one thing I am trying to do. I came here yesterday looking for Cammy's rock. And that tree way down there is where her rock is supposed to be at. A quick backstory as why as I came here the other day. A couple days before Christmas, her rock was on the rocks right about in here where these heavy rapids are at because this was all completely bone dry with rocks above in the other video you can see me put it there well a day or two before Christmas I came here I think it was the day before Christmas I came here and I grabbed the rock and I put it underneath that tree well the water rose after Christmas because of all the rain I had no idea it was coming so thankfully I did it and that tree was under about three feet of water so I'm making my way down there to see if Cammy's rock is still there I'm hoping it is but if it's not I do understand one thing that's always fun for me to do, I used to do this in Florida too when the rivers overflowed. It was always, I always look at where the water is seated at, seeing what I could find. Huge chunk of, I think, limestone that is, that actually got pushed over here on the shoreline by the river. That just shows right there how strong that water is. Well, I've got some good news, and I can't tell you if there's bad news yet because I see Camish Rock. This was underwater yesterday, so I couldn't get to it. And her rock is still safe. But now I'm putting it in a different spot. My reasoning for putting it there was her and I multiple times sat at that rock there with my back against that rock or against that tree. And we watched the sunset go over the mountains there. And so that's why I put her rock there. But for now, I'm going to put her rock a little somewhere safer. This is the spot where you usually park the car at. And she'd come down this hill and go running into the water. I'm very glad that the little memorial stone I made for her is safe. Now that we know that her rock is safe, let's check out this river a little more and what it left behind. There's actually some really, really pretty stones here left behind by the river. I believe that's granite right there and there. A lot of times when stones get wet, they show really nice color or their natural color. Orange, red, nice fluorescent white. Here's a chunk of something with what looks to be quartz growing along inside of it. Here's an old beer can lid. Throw that away. Really nice looking one here. Here's this interesting stone right here with a perfect cylindrical cut in it. I'm not sure if that's man-made or if the river's just hollowed that out over time. This tree here has all of its roots exposed all throughout the shoreline here. And that water lapping up against it and taking all the rocks and stones away from it over time. Somewhere up the river a tree fell and broke apart and two of the chunks of the tree floated here and got wedged into here neat little termite marks in that tree. I've always loved the way this moss always climbs over the roots of these trees here. I 
try my best not to step on it. Another chunk of beer can. And this looks like it came off of a either fishing set or <coughs> the kayakers lost it. Now one thing that's really neat to me is this sand was not here just a couple days ago. Last time I was here, it was all rock just like that. Now up the bend where that white truck sat right across right up here used to be a beach and it's all gone now because of the water. And if I am correct, that sand got swept away from there and slowly got put along here by the river. So now we have a new beach. Videos do not do it justice. It drops off right here like that. And it is extremely deep and extremely fast. That is not water that I would want to mess with at all. One thing is too, any trash that's upside this river, I know by the river bridge there was some trash and people partying underneath it around the bend here. Guarantee you it's all got swept this way and swept down the river towards Irwin. I'm being very careful not to step into anywhere towards this so I don't slip away, but here's another piece of something. Wire. And right there is as far as I'm gonna walk because there's a family on the other side of there with kids and stuff, and I don't want to be recording anywhere around people. Another beer can? I'm not sure what this one is. A piece of trash bag or something that's all tangled inside this bush. Here's another look looking down the river. That tree is usually on land. It's always amazing how much resilience these trees have. They can get swept under water like this for days, weeks, months on end, not be killed or knocked over. Subway. You can't hide from me. Well, I'm gonna end up this video here right now, guys. I'm gonna end up this video here now. Uh, I got to my limit. I'm gonna make a part two. We got a good amount of trash picked up this first part. I'm gonna make a part two and pick up the rest of it and uh, go from there. So if you watch this one and you like it, check out the second one. We pick up some more trash and show how much we got in the very end.